going to make this rope rug, which this is the correct right side. This is the side that I like the best. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Follow me. and I do it a little bit differently than a lot of people. I take some brightly colored scraps and trim them down to about two inches wide, whatever length you want to do. I find no more than four inches is easiest for me because then they're easier to manage. Give the scraps all a good press so it's ready to go and then we're gonna start with coiling the rope, much as you've probably seen before. The difference with mine are on the back side you're going to have these lovely bigger pieces of fabric and I just find it so fun. So come on over and how we start is folding the rope on itself like this for, for a bit here and then I slide it under my machine. I use Guterman thread because it's nice and strong and I have it on a really wide zigzag stitch. I begin sewing back and forth, I'm going backwards now, to secure the beginning pieces. Now normally I would be using an ivory colored thread to blend in and you would not be seeing this. I am using the darker so you can tell what I'm doing. And I'll take it out here so you can see. That's the beginning of our rope rug. So I'm just going to flip this around. I like having the rope on my right side and curling it like this. Now that we've got our starter piece, for a few times you're just going to go keep coiling and do that zigzag stitch to catch both pieces of rope. And then after you've got like a half dollar size piece or so, you can begin adding the scraps. So what I do is take my scrap lengthwise, fold my rope in there like this. So it's all the way butted up in that fold. And then keep coiling and sewing the fabric rope to the piece. Don't worry about wrinkles. It sorts itself out in the end. Just don't even worry about it. Keep that butted up against there. Make sure you're catching both pieces of rope. If you miss, just go back and do it again. Now I'm gonna take a different color piece. This piece is a little big. So trim it down. Fold it inside there. And sew this piece in. That rope is butted up against the previous row. got an extension table it's good to have it on here so it can support the rug. This table is just a little cardboard table so everything's kind of shaking but normally I'd be on my heavy-duty table with my extension piece on my sewing machine. A lot of people ask what kind of needle I'm using and thread. I just use a normal universal needle. If you're having trouble, you can switch to a denim needle and see if that's better for you. I also use Guterman thread exclusively because it works for many different projects, including this one. It's really strong. So now that we're over here, I'm going to pick another scrap. Let's do a light pink here. And we tuck it in, bring it up. And continue sewing.
Okay. So let me show you how we're doing here. Now these threads will be trimmed away. Those just got caught from when we first started. But as you can see, the flattened pieces of fabric get caught underneath there and it looks really cool. When this gets bigger, either no matter if you're doing a rope rug or a mug rug or a bowl, this is supposedly the correct side, but I often turn mine over so I can see those pieces of fabric that are underneath because it ends up really pretty.